Hey guys, so I'm in a different location than normal. I'm actually switching it up and doing something a little bit different for my channel. I've been wanting to incorporate some other videos on my channel that aren't strictly beauty related, maybe like once or twice a month, nothing too crazy, but I just thought it would be fun. So I asked you guys on Instagram, Instagram, which type of videos you want to see, and I got some good ideas. A lot of you guys said just like a daily vlog, and today is our day off. My husband actually just left to take the dogs to the vet. They have to get a vaccine, but we have a long list of things to do today, so I thought maybe I would bring you guys along with us. I don't know if you guys know this, but I actually used to daily vlog with my husband a long time ago when we were engaged. I think the majority of those videos are now on private, and we kind of quit like once we got married and started like full-time jobs, but it was fun, so I thought maybe it would be fun to do it every once in a while now. So today I wanna run to TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I've been hearing that the Urban Decay Velvetizer has been popping up there which is my favorite powder for setting my under eyes so if they are discontinuing it I want to make sure I grab it so I can have one on hand because I don't know what I'll use instead of that so we need to run there we also need to run to the library we cleaned out our DVD collection so we need to donate those and then I also need to run to the women's shelter where I donate like makeup and hair products as well I'm trying to think what else we need to do I have it all on like our shared calendar there's a lot of things I think we might go to like a coffee shop get some work done even though it's our day off I feel like it's always nice to catch up on emails and do things that you didn't get the chance to do during the week. So I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. I hope it's fun for you as well just to kind of get a different look at, you know, me, my life. I'm typically just sitting in the same spot filming beauty videos. I did my makeup. I need to go do my hair and get changed while my husband is at the vet with the dogs. And then I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Charlie and Kenny just got back from the vet. How'd you do with the vet? The vet said Kenny gained a few pounds. <laughs> Haven't we all during the winter time? I just think they don't get as much exercise during the winter, so we need to get on that. Brady walks them every morning for like 30 minutes, but sometimes they just refuse to go, so they'll probably nap the rest of the day. They went to dog daycare yesterday, so they got a lot of energy out, and now they're just kind of hanging out. We're getting ready to go. Okay, we finally made it out of the house, which took us a little bit longer than we initially thought it would. Brady insisted on vacuuming the entire car, but it is clean, I will say that. There was just pug hair everywhere because yesterday they were kind of running around in the back, which we don't normally let them do. And now we know that we definitely shouldn't let them do that, but the car is clean. I think we're going to go to lunch before we get started on our errands. Actually, first we should run to the library, library. drop off those DVDs because they have been sitting in our trunk for what feels like forever. Okay, we made it to TJ Maxx. I am on the hunt for the Urban Decay Velvetizer, but I don't really have any other expectations. I hope that I can find that, but I really haven't looked in the beauty section of my TJ Maxx or my Marshalls in a long time. I feel like typically people find really good things or the sections are like very picked over. So I guess we'll see how it goes.
Okay, we are leaving the coffee shop. I feel like I didn't get that much done because I was stuck on the same thing. I am definitely not a graphic designer, but I'm working on this document and it just wasn't working with me. So I feel like we're gonna have to either come back tomorrow, <laughs> maybe do some more work tomorrow, but my email inbox is still full, so that's not good. But I need to get home because I'm going out with my mom and my sisters and I need to get ready. I need to see the dogs, so it's time to get going. We got Charlie and Kenny some little Easter toys. Charlie always likes like big fluffy toys and Kenny always likes like little tiny ones, so we thought that was good. She loves toys that have a squeaker on them. So I have to get ready to leave in a few minutes, but before I do, I thought I would show you guys what I actually picked up from Marshalls and TJ Maxx. There were a lot of products. I was really surprised. I feel like some of them were open and kind of tampered with, but a lot of them looked like they were in good shape. I'm not really looking to buy a lot of makeup at this point, but there were some really, really good products. So I think that I will check there from time to time, but I did get a skincare product. I got the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream, and this is my favorite moisturizer. Right now I'm using it on my face, on my body, and and Brady uses it as well. So we're going through it kind of quickly. And I think it's Sephora. This is like 30 or $40. Yeah, it says the retail price is $33 and I got it for $19.99. So I got a great deal. I do prefer like the squeeze tube packaging just because this isn't as convenient, but honestly, we go through this pretty quickly. So I'm glad I got this for a discounted price. And then I did get a few hair products. So I didn't realize Shea Moisture was cruelty-free. For some reason, I thought they weren't. But when we were at the store, I Googled it and they are cruelty-free on Cruelty Free Kitty's website, which is a really good website if you guys are curious. So I did get the Shea Moisture Argan Oil and Almond Milk Smooth and Tame Shampoo, and then I also got the conditioner. This is pretty affordable. I mean, it retails for $8. I got them for $6 each. I'm pretty sure this brand is sold at Target, and I have tried some of their products in the past, but for some reason, I thought they weren't cruelty free, so I stopped using them. But they did have quite a few of their products, so I also picked up this Anti-Breakage Strengthening Mask. This is great for frizz split and breaking hair and this normally retails for ten dollars I got it for eight so again these products are pretty affordable at the drugstore but it is nice if you can save a few dollars so that's everything that I picked up but I would love to know what have you guys found at TJ Maxx and Marshalls I did not find the Urban Decay Velvetizer unfortunately I didn't see any Urban Decay products I think I saw like Too Faced, Anastasia, Elf I'm trying to think what other high-end products I saw I'm sure you guys saw them in my clips already but nothing from Urban Decay I did see Becca um, some good complexion products, but I'm going to have to keep checking back. Otherwise, I think I'll just purchase the velvetizer for a full price from the Urban Decay website so I can have a backup while I look for an alternative. So I'm actually going to go touch up my makeup. It's looking, it's looking okay, but I think I could fix it up a little bit, maybe change, and then my sister will be here in like 20 minutes, and then we're going to head out. The lighting is kind of bad in here, but I wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing the ColourPop Blush Crush Eyeshadow Palette. This is such a pretty palette for spring. It just has a bunch of pink toned eyeshadows and I think it's a great option for everyday wear. I actually have a video coming on my favorite eyeshadow palettes for spring, so stay tuned for that one, but I do love this. And then I've actually been wearing this lip gloss a lot lately. It is the Kaleidos Lucid Lip in the shade Mesmerize. It's just a really pretty berry color. It's really comfortable. It's not sticky at all. And then I've been testing out a few new products. So I'm wearing the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder Palette. I've been wearing like the top two shades, but this formula is so good. It's just very blendable, very smooth. I'm also working on a video where I share like the best new products at the drugstore, but so far this has been one of my favorites for sure. I'm trying to think what else I've been wearing today. So today I did wear the Farsali Liquid Powder. I've been talking about this on my channel a little bit. At first I thought it might be a little bit too mattifying for me. I feel like this camera has a hard time focusing, but the more that I wear it, the more that I actually do love it. I think it's going to be like an absolute spring and summer essential. So I am excited about this product. And then for foundation, I've actually been combining my Bite Beauty Change Maker with my Fenty foundation. This is kind of an expensive foundation routine, don't get me wrong, I mean, I love the Fenty foundation on its own, especially during the summer, but sometimes during the winter, it can be a little bit too matte, so I typically mix it with more of a hydrating foundation. So a lot of the times I'll use the Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation, sometimes I'll mix it with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer, but yesterday and today I actually tried the Bite Beauty foundation mixed with it, and that's a really pretty combination.
We had a good dinner and now we decided to take a trip to Target because where else would you go on a Friday night other than Target? Target is the best. Okay, I am home now. We had a really fun time. We just had a girls night. We went to dinner, then we went to Target and Marshalls. We actually all left Target without buying anything. I don't know if that normally happens, but we were just kind of looking around, hanging out. But I think I'm going to go wash my face and then maybe do a face mask. I think I'm actually going to extend this vlog through my Saturday as well. So tomorrow I'm planning on going to yoga in the morning and then I'm going to come back, maybe clean a little bit, work a little bit. I want to edit some videos and then we have family dinner tomorrow night. So it's like a fun family filled weekend. But other than that, I don't know what else I have going on. But I thought since today's vlog might have been a little bit shorter, I would include whatever I'm up to tomorrow. So I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, we are home now. That took us a lot longer than we thought it was going to. We don't love grocery shopping on Saturdays because Saturdays are crazy. Everybody's out grocery shopping. I think the ideal time to go is like on a weeknight at like seven or eight because everybody is home. So you can get in and out so quickly, but we were out of a lot of things. So I wanted to kick the week off right. So we went to the grocery store, got a ton of things. Anyways, I'm going to go finish putting the rest of the things away, get the fridge cleaned out. And then I think I will sit down to edit for a little while. I need to get an empties video up tonight. And I kind of wanted to start editing this vlog, but I don't think that's going to happen today. So I think I'll work on that tomorrow, but I'll see you guys in a little while. Okay, I just finished editing my video. I feel like I got it done in record time. I'm really glad, but I'm going to be uploading that tonight so you guys will have seen it on Saturday. But I'm going to go hang out with my cousin for a little while and then we'll go to dinner. Okay, so it is the end of the night. We are back now. I'm sure that I have pug hair everywhere. Speaking of pugs. Because we do have two pugs. And my parents' dog, who's like a Jack Russell pug, was here as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching my first weekend vlog on this channel. I had so much fun filming it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like these videos, let me know. I can film them a little bit more often. If there's another type of video you want to see on my channel that's not beauty related, let me know too. Brady does cook a lot of delicious food, so maybe we can do a weekend recipe. Some sort of cooking video if you guys are interested in that. I don't cook personally, so that's not something I would do, but I could help, I could watch, I could provide some commentary, we'll see. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great start to your week, and I'll see you soon with a new see video. You. Bye.